Hey friends and welcome back to Lori's Crafty Corner. Today's layout is for the Shimmers design team and you can get a freebie by writing my name in the comments section of your next Shimmers order. I'm going to be using most of the um, April color kit and you'll find the names of all the shimmers that I've used in the description box below. But the shimmers kit brings it has the colors of yellow, green, and blue. And um, you'll get this raindrop stencil plus these dots as well as a cut file. And yeah, my inspiration came from basically the three distinct colors of shimmers that, um, that you find in the kit. So I began by making some swatches. Now this sw first swatch is um, Heidi Ho Blue. That is not part of the color kit. I had it in my stash. But this color, um, some something like blue, or is it? Yeah, something like blue, someone like blue, is the other color that I'm adding on top of it. Basically what I'm doing is with one color I add like some swatches and then with the other color I add a, some more brush strokes on top and then splatters all around it. I began with the blue down the center in a horizontal manner and I'm going to do the same with yellow and green. I'll place the yellow towards the bottom and the green towards the top. You'll see in a bit that I just flip over my cardstock um, because it looked okay for it to be green, blue, and yellow, but when I switched it around it looked even better for it to be yellow, blue, and green. Um, but yeah, you know, <laughs> it, it works out. So that yellow color that I first put down was Chickadee, and that's a spritz. And this other color that I'm adding on top of it is called Limoncello, and that's a, um, that's a Shimmers. This, the green is also from the color kit, and it's called Don't Citron Me. It's a gorgeous lime green. I love it. It looks sort of yellow here, but in the close-ups you'll really get that green, almost like celery color. And then I'm also, you know, adding the splatters. And on top of that, I'm adding a bit of key lime, which is also a shimmers. Um, I don't really mind if some of the splatters fall on top of the other color swatches because in the end it'll all be married together. There you got a peek of the photo that I'm going to be documenting. My picture is mostly blue because my kids were wearing blue shirts, the, most of the sky can be seen and they are sitting on their blue slide. So it was for me it was perfect. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I grabbed some modeling paste and I'm using the stencil just to add a couple of raindrops, mainly for the texture, not particularly because it had anything to do with um, with the picture. It's a bright sunny day and there are no clouds nor rain, rain clouds in sight, but um, yeah, it just added a bit of texture and dimension to my layout. I trimmed my picture down a bit. So apart from using the three distinct colors of the color kit, I also decided to go with sort of tone on tone placement of patterned paper and embellishments. So I'm doing, yeah, I'm color blocking, but in a way I try to marry the embellishment clusters together as well as icing some of the patterned paper layered on top of each other um, in a manner that if it if like the yellow patterned paper spilled over to the blue patterned paper it didn't really bother me 
so in a way it's like i'm marrying both um uh, bearing marrying three of the colors together but at the same time they are distinct in their own way <laughs> i really hope i'm making some sort of sense um but yeah for some more texture and dimension i tore um some of the patterned pa paper others i ruffled with my distressing tool i tried to limit myself to using just two pieces of patterned paper for each color um that way and i and i try to stay to true to tight layers around my pictures sometimes when i'm layering i have like bigger pieces of patterned paper beneath my um, pictures for a really layered look that basically covers the whole base but this time around I want the colors from my background to to be showcased and I also want um, yeah I wanted to like balance things out so what I'm gonna do now is after I have layered in my patterned paper I'm going to be adding some craft foam beneath my picture to get more dimension and those thickers are from the Chamel field trip collection and I love that they there was a word that said cool kid another one genius and, and awesome and they are they each have their own color I love that and now where it's, it's where it gets fun, I start to look around my homemade kit because for the month of April, I made my own kit to try and use up my stash as much as I could. So I dug through and started looking out, looking for embellishments that were blue, green, and yellow. I had these burlap stars in my stash, so I was like, okay, I am going to use them up, you know, sort of like placements for most of my embellishments so I stuck them down and I started by I started adding some um, bundled up thread beneath them just for an extra pop of texture on my layout and then I just basically like started adding each of the uh, embellishments according to their color so I began um, with the green embellishments um, then I worked my way up to the blue embellishments and then to the yellow embellishments and what I love about the April kits is that yes you get the springy vibes because it's yellow it's blue green but you can easily use these color kits, this color kit, for summer layouts. And obviously, as, I, as you've seen here, I'm using them as a boy layout, in a boy layout. So they are, ve they are very, very versatile. I don't think I mentioned, but also in the color kits, you get a set of dots. Um, one is green, the other one's blue, and the, and the other one is yellow. The yellow says, you are my sunshine. The blue one is sunshine with a with a dash of hurricane or something like that. It's so cute because my sons are like that. They are just bundles of energy. Like, I don't even know where they get that energy from, but yeah. And then the green one, it just has some clouds in it. So since I'm color blocking, it just went perfect. As you can see, my embellishments are very random. I have a butterfly, but you know, it, it's blue. I have a crane, it was blue and yellow. So I sort of wedged it between the blue and the yellow areas. Um, I fussy cut some flower some leaves out. I have a chicken, but the sole reason that that chicken is there is because a, it's yellow, and two, um, we speak Spanish here at home, and um, 
we call our sons los pollitos, which is like, how can I even translate that? It's like little chickies. I know chicks is more like related to maybe like girlish and like chickies, but sort of like that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Anywho, for an extra pop of color and sparkle, um, I'm adding some Spiegel Mom scraps sequins. I'll have them written down below in case you're interested. Um, they are just gorgeous and I like mixing my embellishments like bigger embellishments with tiny embellishments. I love it. I love it. I love it. I do. I think, yeah, we are close to, oh yeah, to finishing, but to add, to like tie everything together, I just added some splatters of a high hole silver and I called it a day. Close-ups are coming up. There we go. And I love how this turned out. I love color blocking. Um, and I hope I've inspired you to get your stories documented. Check out the links down below if you're interested in getting the April Shimmers kits. And remember, write my name in the in your in the description box of your next Shimmers order and you'll get a freebie. If anything, guys, I'll see you back soon with another process video.